Hey guys, doing a review on this Vito Pro Pack Tech Pack. Uh, reason I haven't done a video in so long is because I started using this bag and I loved it. It's uh, It's been a year now that I've been using it and it's just been amazing. Like the things people say about Vito, they are 100% right. The, the quality of the bag is fantastic and the uh, amount of storage inside is phenomenal. So I've got it set up. Uh, for what I use often, um, almost on a daily basis, uh, and I'm a commercial electrician. So let's take a look at the front of the bag. Big main pocket here. Uh, the pockets are nice and deep, like that's a 10 inch pair of channel locks, and, or uh, Cobra, Kenny Pex Cobra, and they fit in there very nicely. Uh, I can fit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screwdrivers here with ease and still have room here uh, and behind. And it's, it's phenomenal. And some of these are super, super long screwdrivers. And uh, they still fit down there nicely and you still have access to the pockets on top. Usually in this pocket here, I also have my linesman pliers. But right now I have my dikes, my wire strippers, uh, and then behind it's also my tenon one, and up here I'd keep my pen tester, which are usually the three things I grab right before I go into a job or a service call, because usually you can do the entire job with just those three things. So they're not always in my bag; they're often just in my pockets. But up here I've got a telescoping magnet pickup tool. Some 12 inch tie wraps, a 7 in 1 nut driver, drywall saw, Romex knife, and sometimes I'll keep a couple of drill bits up there. There's also a nice pocket here. Uh, I've actually got nothing, a couple, oh, maybe. I got some keys in there, didn't even know I had them in there. But there's actually so much storage in this bag that as you'll see I have a couple of pockets that are just empty because uh, I have nothing to put in them and the way it's filled right now it's quite heavy so if I keep adding more it'll just be almost unbearably heavy uh, the empty weight is it's quite a lot uh, in the front here this, this will fit in all the way if I really force it but most of the time it just sticks in the way you saw it I put my meter and uh, you also have uh, a strap there, which is attached to the bag. Uh, in the really low pockets here, you can fit some small things. I got some explosion proof putty and channel locks, a couple covers. This side of the bag, got a tape clip. Uh, some bit holders or pen holders. I've got a long 516 spit in this one. Uh, the other side, <clears throat> some more pen, bit, marker holders, whatever you want to use them for, as well as a D-ring for tapes. And often I'll hang my belt clip uh, of my impact on there so I can keep my hands free when I'm walking. Now let's take a look at the back. There's a lot of storage on this, which I guess they call the tech side, uh, which is where you're supposed to keep your meters and other fancy type items. But in here, I've got, <coughs> in the back pocket, I've got two drill bit cases, which are right now holding uh, impact bits. And in this one, I've got spade bits and other, other drill bits. But you could also throw uh, little parts container or something if you wanted. It's really deep, really wide. Also got a headlamp in there. And there's a smaller uh, see-through zipper pocket, which is, again, nice and deep and big. <clears throat> a couple of anti shorts, uh, some crimpers for Cat5, uh, breaker finder, two pairs of tin snips, a level which is broken and a new one 
<coughs> adjustable wrench, a pair of vice grips, a plug tester, and a bunch of wrenches. I don't use these very often, but when I need them, they're good to have down there. <coughs> Up top, you got uh, really small and elastic -y, uh, bit holders. And then a wide pocket up here, which I usually keep my uh, smaller wrenches. The more the ones I use more often, like uh, quarter inch up to nine sixteenths, and then a ten mil because you never know when you're gonna need a ten mil. Uh, all these pockets on this side are all the stretchy style. Uh, sorry, on this right side of the back side are all the stretchy style, and then these three here are just the regular kind. So as you can see, it's uh, been a year with this bag, and it's it's held up amazing. Uh, no rips, tears, all the zippers still move smoothly. Uh, highly recommend this bag. It's the Vito Pro Pack Tech Pack. Thanks.